Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or hi if you're new here. My name is Kaylee. I make fashion and lifestyle videos, some food videos like this one. And I live in Brooklyn, New York with a new puppy and my boyfriend. I definitely have an interest in sustainability. I'm also an entrepreneur. I have my own business. That's just a bit about me, but today we are doing a what I eat in a day video. I used to do these a lot more often. I haven't done one in a while, but I just did a little workout, which I didn't show you because my body's quite out of shape. Maybe I'll start including those in vlogs again soon. And then I showered and got ready and I'm about to make a breakfast. It's a very gloomy day outside today, so I'm trying to have a bit more of a chill day in, just cooking all of my meals and just enjoying myself because cooking is such a meditation for me. I find it's one of the best things that I can do any day that I'm feeling a bit more anxious. And I've definitely been feeling that lately, so I'm excited to do this today and just have some really delicious foods. I think I'm gonna make some new recipes, but I'm also going to show you guys one of my older favorites. I think I'm gonna be stuck cuddling this guy for a bit longer because he just fell asleep in my lap. And then I'm gonna make breakfast. Mm. Let's snore. Apologies if you can hear my boyfriend drumming in the background. But for breakfast, I'm gonna be making this shakshuka with feta off of the New York Times cooking app. I have most of my ingredients out right here. It seems like it's pretty simple. I haven't made it this way before though. So we'll see how it goes. One of the yolks ended up breaking, which is the only one I filmed, but this is looking really delicious and we're having it just with some toast and earth balance. That breakfast was really delicious. I will definitely be making it again on my level. I will definitely be making it again on mornings so that I have a little bit more time. It's just so hearty and satisfying. I think it would be a great brunch meal if you're hosting brunch with your friends. It would definitely be so good with some hummus and pita. I really want to learn how to make pita. He's going insane. He's been attacking me while I've been trying to sit down and film. <laughs> you don't have a toy now. <laughs> hey, hey, no. No. Get a toy. Get a toy. Get a toy. Here's the bottle. Maybe I'll take a pause for a second. Sorry for the camera switch up. He actually knocked down the camera. Didn't you, mister? And now he's sleeping. So now I want to take the time to thank Ritual, a longtime partner on my channel, for sponsoring today's video. I'm sure most of you know by now, but even with a perfect diet, it can be really hard to get all the nutrients that we need on a daily basis, and that's where Ritual comes in. I've been taking Ritual for a couple years now. I'm personally a paying customer. I love their multivitamins so much. Ritual is committed to making their products as sustainable as possible and they help women and men of all ages fill in the gaps in their diet. Each Ritual bottle is made with 100% recycled materials. Their mailers are made from recycled newsprint and plant fibers and the ink they use is even plant-based. Ritual also offsets the environmental footprint of shipping their products by donating to various sustainable initiatives such as renewable energy, reforestation, and energy efficiency. But to tell you a little bit more about their product, Ritual is the obsessively researched multivitamin reimagining health from the ground up. It contains high quality nutrients such as vitamin D3 and omega-3 and a no nausea capsule, which is one of my favorite things about their vitamins because I've found other vitamins in the past to make me really nauseous. I'm quite susceptible to nausea. There's also a mint tab in every bottle, causing these to taste really fresh, which I love. They're vegan-friendly, sugar-free, non-GMO, gluten-free, and allergen-free. And transparency is at the core of everything Ritual does. You can find a lot more info on their website about how their vitamins are sourced or how they ship their products. It's super convenient because it's a delivered to your door subscription, and it's only about a dollar a day to have nine high-quality nutrients delivered straight to your door every month. And they also offer a men's vitamin, a 50 plus vitamin, a prenatal vitamin, and teen vitamins. Ritual is actually offering you guys 10% off your first three months. If you're interested, I will have all of the information in the description box below. All you have to do is go to ritual.com slash 10kleem and use the code 10kleem to redeem your offer. And thanks again to Ritual for working with me on this video. For lunch today, I'm gonna share with you guys how I make some of my favorite vegan tacos. So I do a vegan meat, 
I love to use these 365 plant-based meatballs to smash with spicy taco seasoning and it makes the best like ground beef substitute. And then I also love to do a buffalo cauliflower taco. So I have cauliflower and some wing sauce. This isn't my favorite kind, but it's what Whole Foods had. And then I also use refried beans and I'm gonna be using some hard taco shells. And I forgot to mention that I also chop up some onion and garlic to begin cooking the meat in. So I put about half of an onion in here and four cloves of garlic. And then after a few minutes with the onion and garlic, I add in the meatballs. This is about half a bag, I think. And they come frozen, so once they soften a bit, I'm going to smash them and create it more into a ground consistency. And then I'm going to use this spicy taco seasoning mix, really any taco seasoning mix. If you have a jalapeno, that's also really great to add to this. But just follow the directions on the back, make sure you mix it with water, it makes such a difference. And then your meat will be done. So while that meat simmers, I started heating up the refried beans. And I have my air fryer preheating for the buffalo cauliflower. There it is. So I just added the wing sauce. It's really great to add flour or breadcrumbs to this as well, especially if you're like serving it for other people. I'm just being a bit more simple today, but I did add a bit of garlic powder, onion powder, and salt. I just think it makes it better. So I'm gonna put this in the air fryer. This is something you can do in the oven if you don't have an air fryer, but wow, the air fryer makes it so much better. So now I'm starting to assemble them. I'm gonna use this Trader Joe's jalapeno sauce. It's really, really good. I'm gonna use nutritional yeast instead of cheese, Cholula hot sauce, and a bit of lime juice. So yum, I can already tell by the smell of it, but I think this is such a great like hosting meal to make or even just for meal prepping for yourself. I always end up using the leftovers for lunch for a few days afterwards. So now I am gonna do some work with this guy on my lap. Again, he has to be on my lap all the time. I'm gonna do some work on my quarterly taxes. I'm a little bit nervous about this, but the deadline is soon. It's weird that it's not the same time as last year's taxes. I think a lot of you guys are freelancers and deal with this too. My income has changed and I am about to be giving the IRS a pretty good chunk of my savings account with quarterly taxes. Plus last year's taxes when I didn't pay quarterly taxes because I've never actually done that before and just always get a penalty and it's very irresponsible of me for someone who wants to be financially responsible. I feel like I am in like all other areas of life, but not so much with this and I'm working to change it So I am going to do some calculations And get that paid today. A really cozy, but still kind of put together look on today I'm wearing the amber crinkled shirt from our most recent collection There's a better look at the fabric. I feel like the color isn't coming off very true on camera gonna insert a picture from our website because I feel like that's a lot more true. It's pretty true to his color, I would say. We're quite matching today. So I'm wearing that top with just some gray wool wide leg trousers that are super comfy. My green Prada loafers and one of my favorite black basic tank tops. This is just from Calvin Klein really randomly a long time ago, but I love this one so much and I haven't found the exact style again. I wish I had more than one of them. And then I'm wearing our trail offerings necklace. Don't knock it over. Don't do it. I'm watching Anna's new vlog. It's a renovation vlog. I have been kind of obsessed with home content like this lately. As I mentioned with you guys, I am saving for a home at some point. I would really like to get into real estate or innovating. It just sounds totally up my alley. I know it's not all fun. Um, but I love watching renovation vlogs and just kind of seeing the nitty gritty of everything and like getting ideas for future things for myself and just kind of learning about it because I find it really interesting. So if you guys have any recommendations for people that make this kind of content that have good style too, definitely let me know in the comments down below because I would be super interested. Awesome. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. I've been talking to you from the same place on the couch kind of all day. 
I am just working from the couch so often lately, especially on a day like today. But it's almost dinner time. I think we're gonna do like a date night sort of dinner tonight, Italian style. We have some really good sparkling wine that I wanna have that I got for my birthday from my friend Charlotte. And then I wanna watch True Detective. That's like our new show that we're watching i would highly recommend from it so far although i'm just on the first season so yeah i probably won't talk to you any later tonight but let's go make dinner here is the meal i'm going to be trying to make tonight from the new york times cooking app i just got a subscription to their recipes and a lot of them look really good i have pretty much everything but i'm going to be trying this cauliflower gnocchi instead of regular i'm not sure how that is going to go exactly but it's a pretty simple recipe and says it only takes 25 minutes it sounds delicious so we're going to give it a go mm -hmm. 